Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to be doing something kind of new just for my channel. I'm going to do something called the one palette tutorial. I'm planning on kind of doing these um, for the next little while if you guys like them. I mentioned it on Snapchat and I mentioned it on Twitter and you guys like were so happy, so excited and loved the idea. So pretty much the other day I was cleaning out my beauty room, decluttering some makeup. I looked through my eyeshadow palette drawer and I was like, oh my God, there's just so many beautiful palettes that I never dabble into because I just stick to that one or two palette that I get comfortable with and then I never explore with all these beautiful palettes. So I figured why don't I just do a kind of tutorial series here on my channel where I'll use only one eyeshadow palette and create an entire eye look just with that one eyeshadow palette, not using any other ones. And that way it kind of challenges me only to use that one eyeshadow palette, create a look with just that one palette. It also shows you guys how to create looks with just one palette so you don't have to buy different palettes and different shadows. And I had you guys vote on Twitter out of the Urban Decay Naked 2, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, and the Tarte Tartlet in the Bloom palette. And most of you guys voted for the Tartlet Tarte in the Bloom palette. So. This is the palette we're gonna be using for today's one palette tutorial. I'm super excited. It's a really pretty kind of bronzy palette. There's quite a bit of cool tones, a little bit of warm shades, but mainly some cool tones. So I don't even know what look I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for myself just to stick to one palette and just look at a palette and be like, that's the look I wanna do with it. So we're gonna see what I come up with today. So let's just get started with the makeup tutorial. I'm gonna start off with priming my face, of course. I'm gonna use the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer. I almost said pore minimizing, but this is just the regular one. And then I'm also gonna pop on the Marc Jacobs Coconut Undercover Primer, I believe it's called. I'm just gonna put that all over, all over, I'm kind of twisted, all over my skin just for a little bit of a dewiness. And then I am just gonna pop on the Smashbox Primer Water because I like how wet it leaves my face and I love applying foundation on afterwards and then I am popping on the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I know super long skin prep but it just makes the world of a difference once you apply your foundation with prepped skin. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Estee Lauder foundation, my holy grail. I haven't used it in a while though because I've been dabbling into other foundations. So I'm going to go ahead and pop some of this on. This is in the shade 4W1 Honey which I feel like might be a little bit dark on me right now, but we're gonna see. Taking my beauty blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I don't know what it is, but my self tanner hasn't been getting as dark lately. Like all my foundations are like a tad bit dark for me now when they used to match me. My skin is just not grabbing onto it. So it's definitely a bit dark for me, so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Tawny. For concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium, and I'm just gonna apply that underneath the under eye. And you really don't need that much product um, of this, even though I apply a lot, I'm just super crazy. But to be honest with you, you don't need a lot of this because it's so pigmented. Taking my Sigma 3D HD Blender, I'm gonna use that to blend out the concealer. I actually forgot to mention this in my March favorites and I was so like so mad afterwards that I forgot to mention it because I really love it. And then I always go back to my foundation beauty blender and go right around the edges just to make sure that there's no like harsh line between the foundation and the concealer. To set the under eye I'm going to take the Kat Von D yellow powder and a little bit of MAC Emphasize. So we are going to do some bronzing slash contouring with the Anastasia Foundation Stick in the shade Amber. To set that cream bronzer, I'm gonna take a little bit of the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. It's just a super pretty, soft, creamy, really warm bronzer. So I'm gonna set the rest of the skin that hasn't already been set. I'm gonna use the, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix in the NYX Translucent Powder with a little bit of the Kat Von D Medium 62 Lock It Foundation and just kind of mix the two. I've never really done this before, but I don't know, I wanna see how it works mixing a translucent with a little bit of color. For a little bit of color, I'm going to take the NARS Luster Blush and just apply that on the cheeks. 
So now I'm gonna go off camera because I'm actually gonna film a little demo for another video that I am doing that includes my highlights. So we're gonna skip the highlight for this tutorial. I'm also just gonna do my brows off camera. So I went ahead and did my highlight and my brows and primed and set my eyes, so we're ready to move on to the eyeshadow. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Tarte Tartlet in the Bloom eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited to use this because I haven't used it in so long. To be honest, I think I only used this palette twice. Eek, I know, but it's not something I would go for every day. That's just the truth. It has quite a bit of cool tone and mauve shades in there, which is just not something I go for every day. For like an everyday look, I prefer to just go for something warm toned, soft, peachy, warm, orangey tones. Um, just because they look the most they're the easiest for me to pull off So if I'm doing an everyday look I want something like quick easy that I don't have to think about and those are easier shades But nonetheless, this is so beautiful and this shade right here just speaks to me I don't know what look I'm gonna do today I'm honestly gonna wing it and hopefully I kind of come up with something semi cool So I think what I'm gonna do is start off with this really pretty kind of pinky shade I'm gonna start off and just kind of create this wing shape And just apply it on the outer V area and I'm going to wipe off the brush to remove the excess product and then I'm going to just dust off those edges to make sure it's blended. So technically the rules of this one palette tutorial series is that I'm only using the one eyeshadow palette to create an entire eye look but I wanted to get your guys' opinion on if you would be okay if once in a while I threw in like let's say I did an entire eye look using only these eyeshadows but I threw in one glitter or one liquid glitter or a loose pigment, you know what I mean? Like, so no other eyeshadows at all, but maybe an extra like eye accessory, if you want to call it, like a glitter or something like that. I want to know what your opinion is, or maybe you don't want me to do that and you want me to just use the eyeshadow palette. Um, but regardless, if you did want, if you are okay with me using like a glitter or a liquid eyeshadow or something like that, um, just know it would only be, that would be the only exception. It wouldn't be any other shadows or any other, like, you know, nothing. So let me know if you guys are okay with that too. I feel like it would kind of keep it fun. I feel like most of you guys are okay with using all shadows from one palette and then kind of grabbing a glitter or something like that to finish off the look. So let me know what your thoughts are on that if you're cool with that. So next I'm going to take the shade Smarty Pants, which is kind of like this neutral to cool tone tan shade. And I'm just going to concentrate it more in this outer area. Taking the shade Jet Setter, which is definitely a deeper taupe shade, I'm going to go ahead and also apply that in the outer area. So first applying it and then kind of really dusting off excess product. And I'm also going to mix in the shade Rebel a little bit. It's kind of this mix of like a brown and burgundy. So I'm going to take the shade Activist here, which is a super deep brown. Mix it a little bit with Rebel because I don't want it to be too deep. I don't really feel like doing a super deep eye look for today. Just a little bit. So I dusted off that same small brush and I'm going to go in with the Sweetheart and Smarty Pants shade. And I'm only going to apply it on this outer part because I want to keep the center of my eye kind of open. I'm also taking Jet Shet... Jet Shet... <laughs> Jet setter now, and I'm just gonna also smoke that out, and I'm connecting it. So I went ahead and wet my brush, and now I really wanna dabble into this shade right here called Firecracker. It's definitely, I feel like, the star of the palette. It's so beautiful. It's a cross between like this coppery, bronzy, like it's just a really beautiful shade. So I am actually just going to pop that all over the lid. And I don't want to be too precise with it at all. I love this because it gives you a very sultry, um, sexy vibe as soon as you apply it. Like it's a really pretty, unique shade. Now I'm just going to take Smarty Pants, which is super light, and just kind of blend that down here. Um, just to create a little bit of this ombre effect. It's really light, so it's not going to bring any darkness. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Funny Girl and wet my brush on top of it. And then I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of this shade and this one mixed together again. And I'm just going to kind of create that shadow liner. 
I only want it to go from mid to end though because I don't want to create any darkness towards the beginning of the eye. Taking the Anastasia Dark Side Eyeliner, I'm just going to apply that to the top. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Aligner in the shade Nude and just apply that on the bottom waterline. And I am going to mix it a little bit with the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Mr. Bing Liner. And this is just going to create like a very light brown. Taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my lashes before I move on to some falsies. I'm going to go ahead and do the falsies off camera and then I'll be back to finish off the lips. So in case you guys are wondering, for the lashes, I use the Tiny Minx Lashes in the style Miss Samantha. So for the lips, I think I'm going to use the Tarte Lipstick. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Lipstick, I believe, in the shade Skinny Dip. It's such a pretty, beautiful, warm, pale nude. And I am just going to mix a little bit of the Marc Jacobs Yours to Try Liquid Lipstick. They're pretty much almost the same color. I'm just mixing it just to have the formula a little bit thicker so that it can last a little bit longer. Taking the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, I'm just going to go ahead and outline that just a little bit just to make it fade in and um, kind of match my skin tone a little bit better. So that is it for the tutorial, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I actually really love how this look turns out. It's really super kind of bronzy, a little bit of like a rose gold vibe, just a little bit. Mainly bronzy and super sultry. I really like it. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please, 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 please let me know if you like the idea of doing the kind of one palette tutorial. I personally think it's really fun. I think there's benefits for me and you. It kind of challenges me. It helps me use more of my eyeshadow palettes. But I feel like it also, it helps you guys. Because a lot of you guys want me to just use one palette instead of multiple different shadows and glitters from here and there. It's just easy for you guys to follow. And a lot of you guys have these palettes, but you don't really know how to use them or what colors to pair together. So I'm here to help you guys out. And you're here to help me out so that I can use my damn eyeshadow palettes. Please, 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 please like them with this video so that I can know whether or not you guys um, like this video. That's kind of how I communicate with you guys and I get what you guys are thinking. If a video gets a lot of likes, I'm like, okay, they like those videos, so then I'll keep doing them. And please let me know what eyeshadow palette you guys want me to do next, and I definitely will. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.